Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you the steps to making a paper relief piece of art that has a ladybug on it. Or if you want to make more than one ladybug, like this piece of art has two ladybugs, that is up to you. Um, hopefully you looked through the list of materials that you'll need for this project. You're going to need a piece of paper, um, a background piece of paper, like this white piece that I have. Um, the leaves... These are cut out from green construction paper, but you could also just draw and color your own leaves, so you don't need green paper. You do need um, some kind of colored paper, though, for your ladybug. And if you don't have paper that's already colored, I'll show you how you can just color in your own with crayons or markers or colored pencils, whatever you have at home. Okay? Remember that um, a paper relief has three main things that you need to check. One, uh, the background will be flat, like this flat piece of paper, okay? And if I hold it this way, you can tell this part is flat. The front is not all the way flat, though. And that's the second piece on our checklist, is that the front needs to have something that's popping off of the page, okay? And then the third thing on the checklist is, is it made out of paper, since it's a paper relief, okay? And this project has all three things. A flat background, something that pops off of the top, and it's made out of paper, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started. For making our ladybug, you're going to need three circles that are the same size. If you're pretty good at drawing circles, you can go ahead and draw them however you want. I find that for a project like this, when I want my circles to be pretty round, um, I like to find something at my house that's already in a perfect circle, and it, then it works as something nice to trace. So you can just flip this over, and then with a pen or a pencil or a marker or whatever you have around your house, just trace around like that, and it should make a good circle. And then for this example, I'm wanting to make a red ladybug. Now, ladybugs come in all different kinds of colors, so yours doesn't have to be red if you don't want to. Um, yellow might be kind of fun as well. I've seen even like lime green ladybugs, so that'll be up to you what color you want. Whatever color ladybug you want, then you're gonna color in all three circles. So this one I did with a crayon. You could also use a red marker, paint, just kind of whatever you have at home, okay? But you need three circles that are the same size and the same color. Then you're gonna cut out all three circles, okay? And I've already done that step, so you don't have to wait for me to cut those out on the video. One, two, three. Three circles, they're the same size and the same color. The next thing I need to do is fold each circle in half. Okay, like that. And remember, if I'm ever moving too fast for you, then just pause your video until you can catch up and get ready for the next step. So you should have three circles that are folded in half. The next step is going to be a gluing step. So you'll need some kind of glue to glue these three pieces together. All right, I'm going to keep it folded. All right, I'm going to keep all of these folded while I'm gluing. And I'm going to glue on one half right here. And stick this other one while it's still folded shut on top of it. Like that, okay? Then I'm going to add more glue to the top, and I can scooch my camera down a little bit closer if that's better for you. Oh, that's great. Okay, then I'm going to add more glue to the top and stick this one. Like that. Okay, squeeze them together in my hand just to make sure that they're stuck together really well. Perfect. All right, and then that's going to be the body of my ladybug. It doesn't really look too much like a ladybug body right now because it's missing something. What is this ladybug body missing? Yes, it needs some ladybug polka dots. So if you have like a black pen or a black marker at home, that would be the perfect material to use to add some polka dots. But you're not just going to be adding polka dots on this front part. I want you to flip kind of this page and you're going to add some polka dots over here and then flip it over the other way and you want to have polka dots there. That way when you're finished, 
your ladybug has polka dots even from the sides instead of that just being empty right there, okay? And that makes it just look a little bit nicer, okay? You can also see I added a black line. That's optional. If you want to add a black line down the middle of your ladybug, you can, okay? All right. For the next step of the ladybug, if you'd like to create a head shape the way I did, all I did was cut out a black piece of paper because I had some black paper at my house. If you don't have black paper though, remember, just like we did with these circles, you could always create your own black um, shape and I can show you how to do that. Um, I'll use crayon for this one. Marker would also work great. Okay, so for a ladybug head, I just do kind of like a curved rainbow line like that. Is that going to be an okay size? Yeah, that's fine. And then, oh, maybe I want to add some eyes on this one too. Now, this one, when I used black paper, I um, added the eyes with some white paint. And then when the paint dried, I um, added the black dot with a black marker at the end. But just kind of think like an artist, get creative. If you don't have the exact same materials I use, then kind of just think outside the box and think what do you have that might work just fine. And then once you have a nice shape of a head, cut it out. A little bit of glue right there at the end of my head on that side. And we can push the body on there. Okay, now this is already considered a paper relief because it is, oh, don't fall off, little head. <laughs> it's flat on this bottom part right here. Okay, so if I hold it up like that, the back is flat. It has something that's popping off of the front and it's made out of paper. But it doesn't quite feel like a finished piece of art to me. So that's why I like to have a background piece of paper, a place for your, um, ladybug to be sitting and I just thought of it it doesn't really have to have leaves on the background wouldn't it be a cool background if maybe you traced your hand and then you could glue the ladybug so that it looked like there was a ladybug in your hand um, you could maybe draw a giant flower and have ladybugs drawing on a flower so really just get creative with it um, if you want to see how I drew my leaves I can show you that really quick um, just draw a big leaf shape. And I want to make sure it's big enough for the ladybug to fit on. So maybe I'll leave my ladybug right there while I draw it. There we go. And it's okay if the leaf goes off of the page. That's fine. Then I like to do a big smooth line from the top of the leaf that goes down like that. Okay. And then I add kind of, it looks kind of just like a V really. All the way down this big line. You kind of see how that looks a little bit like a V. And then once I have these marker lines on here, then I'd probably go back and find um, a color out of my crayons to color in that leaf so that it's not just white. Um, but like I said, it doesn't have to be a leaf background. You can choose something else to be in your background. You don't have to have just one ladybug. You could have um, a piece of art that has lots of ladybugs. Okay, I hope you had fun.